Now this is something that is interesting and, and plays a role, and I'm using the exact same scenario again. This time, the cell itself, depending on the situation and long-term information over time, the cell can modify the number of receptors that it has. So if a cell were stimulated often, now I'm going to move away from my example of, um, of epinephrine and norepinephrine, and let's just go, let's keep our little green guys, and let's say that that is, for example, uh, dopamine or serotonin. Those are both feel-good chemicals. And if, for example, we did drugs and just flooded the cell, flooded this cell with the this communicating chemical, the cell might respond by increasing the number of receptors that it has to receive that information. And if the cell re increases its number of receptors, actually, I think it's backwards. I think if, if there isn't very much of the chemical in the space, there isn't very much of this, then it's going to increase the number of receptors that it has so that even if there's one, it's probably going to hit the uh, receptor. So if we were to decrease the amount of, say, dopamine in this space to stimulate this molecule or this cell, then I, if I only have one dopamine molecule, it's at least going to hit the cell and stimulate a response. Whoa. If you have too much, I could actually make these guys go away. The cell could say, whoa, I'm getting totally overstimulated with dopamine right now, and so I definitely don't need that many receptors because where would all this dopamine come from? Well, it might have very well come from whatever drug you just took. And then your cell adjusted and removed receptors, and then your body doses its normal dopamine, non-drug dopamine, and how do you feel? Like, dude, I can't even feel the dopamine. I feel terrible. Maybe I better go do drugs, which is why you should definitely avoid some of those illegal drugs because they're, they're physiologically addicting because they, your cells change in response to those molecules. Changing the number of receptors can help you fine-tune the information that you receive. Okay. How do you make the message stop? Because somehow you have to, I mean, if a molecule binds, how, how do you stop receiving the message? Think about that.